Hello, hi. I'm Kamal from Kamal Arts, and thank you for trying out the mini batik. Okay, so you probably have got uh, something like this, a mini batik is either in individual pack or classroom set. So I'm just gonna demonstrate to you how to put this together. So this is batik painting. So you will be able to achieve uh, something like this as the end result. Okay, so it's all pre-packed. So what you have in the pack is uh, you have got colors in. Okay, you have a palette. You got brushes. And uh, I think uh, this one you got to get it yourself, napkin, if it's not available in the pack. Or and, uh, just get any container for, for a cup of water. Okay, so this is already pre wax right? So uh, this is batik painting. So batik painting is a resist technique. That means uh, we use the chanting. Okay, uh, on another occasion, I probably have another video and show you, you how I actually use the chanting. Okay, so we use the chanting to wax this outline and then uh, we use a paper stretcher, so cardboard stretcher, right? So usually it's using wood, but uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, assemble this, okay, so into a box. So the first, the edge need to be folded and uh, inserted into the slot and then you will form a box the box is essential because you don't want the cloth to be in contact with the thing very simple thing cup of water and if your brush is new it's very hard so just dip it in the water first okay let it dip there you don't need a lot of uh, dye this is dye this is fabric dye and then uh, right so you just squeeze a little bit okay right and then uh, okay and we, we we provide three colors okay there might be more uh, for the classroom pack but you know uh, some colors if it's not around no you exercise your color theory and then maybe if you want orange you just add uh, yellow to red become orange okay so basically the primary colors we give you the primary colors it should be enough for you to uh, uh, complete this okay you don't need a lot okay this amount would or oh, will be more than sufficient so we are going to paint okay so this is water soluble so you can uh, if you want to make it lighter you can uh, mix with water so all you need to do now is you dip the brush and then you have a load right so in order for you not to drip you touch it to the side and all you need to do is just uh, okay I have blue color here and then uh, let's say I pick this tail here and I just touch it and you can see the color spreading right so you just touch it and you don't have to paint to the edge you just paint it and then it will spread to the edge that is the foundation of batik in the sense that the, the wax will prevent it from spreading okay so the trick here if you want to have a beautiful picture is to have the the, the colors uh, in different segment you, you know you separate them don't don't make them all the same color then it will be very very boring right okay so you make them put apart then you can wash your brush you only need one brush okay okay drain the color pick up another color now i'm picking up red and then i'm putting it there okay so you see be very neat okay this will take you some time to do if you are very neat right so okay so this is that i'm just going to demonstrate to you how I'm going to mix yellow here so I I put a little bit of blue here okay and I put a little bit of yellow here okay a little bit more yellow and I will get myself green color okay so I'm picking green now you see this is green but I am going to paint uh, I'm gonna paint the leaf here for now okay right so there you see now this whole thing is going to be green, right? But, okay, I'm gonna do different shades of green. Okay, so I'm gonna touch a little bit of of uh, blue, and then now I got myself a dark green. Oh, that's a bit too dark. So I'm gonna add a little bit of green. So this, what you already got a multicolor. Okay, so you can also add green on one side, and you add water, and then you can see this whole thing fused okay or maybe i want it 
to be lighter i put yellow on one side okay wash it okay and then now i pick green so you can see there are three ways of coloring you can make multicolor, but try to get the segment to be very vibrant by having them different segment okay is that you see ah that that way i'm just drop and then the whole thing will okay so now i'm coming back to the feather just now i already wet the thing this uh, segment of the tail and then now i pick up a little bit of blue and i put it there and you can see now it creates a very nice shape okay now if i'm not sure i wanna okay dry the brush also is possible and then i can blend it some more so this is how you do a blend basically flat color blend and multicolor. so when you're painting the batik painting the wax will form the resist so you can paint in flat colors okay but all you have to do is just touch and the color will spread okay and then uh, wash the brush before you change to another color okay and try to use a different color alternating color at different segments right then you will have interesting things you can even now i added some water there and then to make it lighter right so I, my blue is lighter because i added water but be careful don't have too much water if you have too much water it's not going to be very very nice okay so that's how you lighten the color now we're going to make a little bit of a gradient here so i'm going to wet the thing for this segment first and then i'm going to add a little bit of yellow on one side and then you can see or i can do it the other way around i can add yellow okay and then i add the water to this side okay and then you see now this becomes a gradient wash right so i can add the colors here so you can see the color nicely or maybe i feel that it's not contrasty enough no i can add maybe i add blue now but if it's too much maybe i can dab it on my napkin or i just touch it a little bit now when a uh, little bit of blue but uh, because it has some yellow on the surface it looks a little bit greenish okay can you see so that's how you do toning so try to do a uh, different color for different segments have fun something like that right uh, uh, make sure you have a clean surface open it up there is a double sided tape here okay and then you remove the stapler remove the staples from the cardboard and then you can just paste it here to the best angle and facing outward all right and then uh, it's ready for presentation you can put it back into the plastic you can write uh, birthday wishes or thank you greetings and stuff like that okay so that's it very simple you will be able to finish something like that we have uh, different designs of course